I have a problem. I do not think that I will be able to have children. Some development of the reproductive system was not normal, and as a result, I am infertile and cannot have children. They said that this was because of the lack of a hormone important for puberty. I have diabetes mellitus, so my blood sugar tends to be too high, and I can't seem to bring down my blood sugar into normal range after a meal. And as a result of having such high blood sugar, I have sugar in my urine. And that was one of the tests which showed that I had diabetes mellitus. I also have diabetes, darlings, but I don't have diabetes mellitus. I have diabetes insipidus. I don't have high blood sugar, nor do I have sugar in my urine. But I notice that I'm always making a high quantity of dilute urine, like someone who has diabetes mellitus. I get up in the middle of the night to urinate and am producing this dilute urine, but I don't have sugar in my urine. It's a different type of diabetes, darling. I do a lot of shift work. I work at night, then I would sleep in the day, and then sometimes I switch. And this has caused me to have a very irregular sleep cycle. And I'm starting to notice that I get sick more often. And I think it's because of this irregular sleep pattern and the hormones secreted during sleep. Well, I, I don't think I'm getting the normal amount, and this is starting to take a toll on my health. They say I have a hormone imbalance and that's why I am so short. I just didn't grow tall and have a growth spurt like all of the other kids in my school. They say this has caused my dwarfism, this hormone imbalance. Hello, I have a serious problem. I have a hormonal deficiency which has affected my growth and the formation of my body shape. It has also affected the development of my brain. Some people with this disorder aren't even able to stand or walk because of the neurological deficits. The term cretin used to be used to describe people like me. Unfortunately, that has become used as an insult instead of its original intention as a medical term. There are a number of other effects as well, such as the maturation of bone and the delay of puberty and effects on skin and hair. Unless children are supplemented with the needed hormone, then their body and brain development will never be what it should.